So how long uh, has APM been, been working on this? Oh, uh, we have been working on this for the last um, 10 years. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, it's, it's kind of exciting because APM has always um, taken the lead on being the first one to bring these projects before um, we were the first ones to bring housing when this neighborhood was um, non-existent to most folks. Um, uh, the agency has been around 40 years, so when we started with the social services, we realized there wasn't good housing to send to folks, to send people to. So we, we did that, we went into home ownership, and then we were thinking, how do we build a community that is green, sustainable, and that people want to invest in and that families want to stay in without getting them to move. So that's when we started our greening efforts. And this train station has been one of our thoughts for about the last 10 years, and now it's um, coming to fruition. So it's getting people to believe in us, <laughs> to want to put the money down, to really think that it could happen. So it's, um, As a member of the Planning Commission, can you tell me what, uh, what needs to be done or before the project can get going from a planning perspective? Well, I have recused myself from uh, from all the um, uh, conversations, so I haven't um, I haven't been involved. But what has to happen is this has to be taken to the planning commission, and it has to be in line with what we have for the uh, transit-oriented development for the transit villages, mm -hmm. and for it to have the density. And so um, they're going to be presenting next um, Tuesday. The oh, staff this, will be presenting. You to mean the tomorrow? Planning. Tomorrow, that's yeah. right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the weeks are like a blur. Yeah, I'm just really glad to see you all of Great to see you. Thank you so much. Thanks for all the work you're doing. Well, thank you. We're, uh, 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 we're waiting on the mayor. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's on his way. I'm not sure. Well, he has a busy job, so he should be allowed to be And so late. do you. We're <laughs> well, big on three minutes late. Thank you. But we're grateful for all the work. You know, more if you've been involved with him. We love having him on the board. He just likes the Good morning. I'm Mildred Ruiz, and I'm the president and CEO of APM, and I can't tell you how excited and how momentous this moment is for us. Um, we're on a very tight schedule. We need to um, hurry. The senator is here, and he's very busy, and so is the mayor. So with that, um, I'm going to have them come up, and then I'll come back and, and, um, and give you a little bit more on the project and what it is that we're trying to do today. But I'm really excited about this opportunity and the fact that we have a mayor and that it's getting so much national attention on this green transit uh, village idea that we've been working on for a little over 10 years. But um, the mayor is, uh, is a great friend. He's got foresight, and I'm so excited to have a mayor that believes in this because it's been a long while since we've been wanting to bring this to fruition. So it's so great to have somebody that believes the same thing and that um, has embraced the whole idea and that is uh, so supportive. So, Mayor, thank you. And with that, I'll introduce you to the mayor. You know, you always have to be careful if you have two politicians standing behind you. We actually made a uh, made a decision that uh, Senator Case is going to go first. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, Milda. Thanks for getting us started. I want to thank you and all those at uh, AP APM and as well as uh, the Jonathan Rose Companies, Citibank, uh, Wallace Roberts and Todd, SEPTA, Temple, and I probably left somebody out. But I do want to thank, uh, first of all, the mayor for his great leadership on this project, a critically important project to the future. What you see on this site may not be fully uh, visible yet, but it is about the future. And I was uh, happy to play a role in securing what we can announce today, which is $487,000 of federal dollars for this project. So we're happy about that. I have to say, and the mayor knows uh, some of my own uh, history from when I was a lot younger. But I, when I was a volunteer, <laughs> when I was a volunteer in uh, North Philadelphia back in, uh, I'll really date myself now, the school year 82-83, when I taught at the J Zoo and I was driving up uh, Broad Street today looking at the, the YMCA where I used to take our, our class every day. So whenever I can appear and, and be in any way connected to a project in North Philadelphia, I'm especially happy. And we're grateful because this is critically important 
that we make these kinds of investments, not only in development itself, but in development that will bring about uh, the kind of diverse, uh, diverse development of mixed-use income housing uh, to neighborhood retail, the whole gamut, and to do it in a way which leads, uh, leads the country uh, in terms of being conscious of the impact, the positive impact on a community, being environmentally conscious, but especially being conscious of transit-oriented development, the kind of development we need to, to develop uh, all over, not just this great city of Philadelphia, but across our commonwealth and our country. And I'm especially grateful, as I said, uh, for, for Nilda's help and her, her leadership and so many others. And in a very particular way, thank you for, uh, thankful, I should say, for the mayor's leadership on so many important issues that lead to jobs and development, keeping people in this great city, uh, preparing for uh, the great city, uh, the, the great future of this city. And I'm especially impressed by the, how dedicated the mayor has been uh, his focus, continual focus uh, on neighborhoods. So with that, I have both the honor and the privilege and the pleasure of introducing to you the Mayor of Philadelphia, Michael Miller.